so much, preacher. What a joy it is for us to be here. I tell you, we love going somewhere new, get to meet some new faces, people that we're going to get to live forever with. If you're saved by the grace of God, we're going to go to heaven and worship him forever and forever and forever. But we don't have to wait till we get there to worship him. We might as well go ahead, start while we're here, because he deserves every bit of our worship, every bit of our praise. Good to see some friends, and I uh, thank y'all for coming. So glad to have y'all. And uh, we, we, we got a brand new recording out there, and we'll do some songs off of it, but I want to do some songs that, that Morgan, our, our middle daughter, just wrote. I'll introduce everybody here in just a minute, but let's do um, uh, Free to Worship. This is a song off of that new CD. I know there's a lot of stuff going on outside these doors. A lot of stuff gets in our hearts and our minds, a lot of bad things going on. But just for the next hour, two hours, three hours, however long, it's, it's real early out in California. We got a long time before it gets late out there. So let's just forget about all the stuff that's going on out there and focus on worshiping him. That's why we're here. We came in to worship. And let's just lay everything aside. Imagine yourself walking out there to your car, throwing all the junk in your trunk. It'll be there when you get back. But just for a little while, let's worship him. He deserves every bit of it. The song title says, I'm free to worship. It used to be so hard just to lift up my hands. Real liberty was something I just didn't understand I was bound by circumstances Only God knew about But I left them at the altar Now I can say without a doubt I'm free to worship Free to lift up my hands And praise the Lord After all he's done for me I've got so much to praise him for. All the chains that have me bound will never hold me anymore. I'm free to worship, free to worship the Lord. Now there are so many things I've been through in my life. You don't know the man. Chains it used to bind me Now we're laying at my feet So if you don't want to praise Him Please don't hinder me I'm free to worship Free to lift up my hands And praise the Lord After all He's done for me I've got so much to praise Him for all the chains that had me bound will never hold me anymore. I'm free to worship, free to worship the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his whole. so much to praise him for all the chains that had me bound will never hold me anymore i'm free to worship free to worship the lord and all the chains that had me bound will never hold me
let me ask, how's the sound? Brother, we'll take a poll, see how it is. Is it, is it okay? Too loud? Not, not, not too loud? Brother, I don't believe this is an independent Baptist church because everybody was just in agreement all at the same time. We might as well go ahead and say revival has broke out right here in Kernersville tonight. Everybody's in one accord. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. We thank the Lord. We don't want to be too loud on you. Uh, we're going to sing this song. We did it a little different uh, than some other groups have done the song. It's called The Goodness of God. We put it on that new CD out there, and uh, I'm thankful that God is good all the time, and all the time he's good. And uh, the Bible says that the goodness of God leadeth men to repentance, and I'm thankful as a 12-year-old boy, his goodness came to where I was. I knelt down in front of an old King James Bible and realized I was a sinner, and the Lord right there saved my soul. The Lord's not only good to me as his child, but he's good to the lost man. He gives that man, woman, boy, girl a chance to come into a place like this, an opportunity to know him, believe on him, and be saved and miss hell. I'm thankful for that goodness of God. Listen as Becky sings this, the goodness of God. Amen. 
sing of the goodness of God. Amen. Mally Kay, come on up here. This is our baby girl. I'll go ahead and introduce everybody. Uh, if you don't have a clue who, you, who we are, you ain't missed a thing. As long as you know Jesus Christ, that's all that matters. This is our, uh, my wife Becky, uh, this coming November, we'll celebrate 31 years of marriage. She was a little girl when we got married, and I uh, thank the Lord for her. This is our daughter Morgan. Uh, this is our baby girl Mally Kate, and on the piano is our cousin Macy. And uh, we are the Matthews family. My name is Scott, and we are the Matthews family from a little place called Blacksburg, South Carolina. Don't, if you blink, you won't see none of it. I mean, it's, it's, you'll miss it. But we thank the Lord for allowing us to go and proclaim the jo gospel of Jesus Christ. We're here, number one, to exalt the Savior. That's why we're here. Number two, we want to encourage the saints. We want a song sung, a word spoken. That'll encourage you just to go another mile in this world in which we live. And then number three, we want to evangelize the sinner. We want the lost man to come and know our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, Mally Kate came to me February, was a year ago, and uh, she said, Daddy, me and Macy's just wrote a brand new song. And uh, she's eight at the time, and she said, Daddy, I wrote the whole first verse. Now, when an eight-year-old tells you she's done wrote the verse to a song, you're expecting a cartoon character to be prevalent, Barbie or, or some other cartoon character. But that wasn't the case. She just wrote down a list of things that she feels like she's been blessed by the hand of God by. And when you hear her list, it doesn't matter if you're eight. It don't matter if you're 28. It doesn't matter if you're 88. You'll realize as a child of God, you've been blessed by a lot of the same things. And then Macy finished out the song, verses and choruses and all. And uh, they just named the song. We put it on that new CD out there. It just simply says, I've been blessed. serve him but above everything he still calls me his chosen I've been washed in his blood reading through his love and I'm waiting on my home in heaven above where the ransom to praise him while the ages roll on and on Sometimes in the midst of my every day I'll stop and think just what I should say about how I've been blessed, how everything changed from the life that I lived before I got saved. And I think about every single time God won the battle, Satan raged in my mind. I thank him and praise him for every mile I've come. I've been blessed through every mile I've been kept through every trial I am free from the burden of sin I have peace and joy within See and grace through 
Hopeless, helpless, sinner lost But the Alpha and Omega Brought the answer to a cross And that's where one day I found him Sin no longer left a stain To this day it is a holy, perfect place God in it His plan was great Yonder in Eden knew I needed saving grace And this heart that loves him dearly That is what he sees today Down through the years I found him faithful Think I'll trust him on and on For his plan will lead his children safely home of ours by the name of uh, Faith York wrote a song based on Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I'm glad that I can trust the Lord not only with my salvation, and I can trust him to get me to heaven, but I can trust him with everything else. My finances, my family, I can trust him with every aspect of this life because he's going to do right by us and he's going to be faithful to us. And she wrote this song. It says, I will trust you, Lord, with all of my heart. Your way is always perfect Though the path is hidden from view The darkness may settle around me But your hand guides me all the way through With all of my heart, I will trust you. Your ways are higher than mine. I know the depths of your mercy will reach down and catch me in time. It only takes me so far You work beyond what 
my mind can imagine so I will trust you Sheltered through stormy weather, I can say of my soul, it is well. With all of my heart, I will trust you. Your ways are higher. Every footstep and gives 
me a song in the night. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem, redeem, it's shouting for us. Would y'all mind if we practiced on you just a little bit? Um, Morgan just recently wrote a, a song about the story of Ruth. If you read the four chapters of the book of Ruth, you'll find a husband, Elimelech, his wife, Naomi. They had two boys. They moved from Bethel to Moab out of the will of God. When they got there, the two boys married daughters of Moab. Elimelech, the husband, dies. The two boys die, leaves a wife and a mother-in-law and two daughter-in-laws. Orpah hears that there's bread back in Bethel. She's bitter. She's angry. She's out down there in the country where she, she don't call home, but she does hear there's bread. and She tells her daughter-in-laws, you go back to your people. You go back home. I'm bitter. I'm angry, but I did hear there's bread, and I'm headed back to Bethel. Orpah, one of the daughter-in-laws, kisses her mom-in-law on the cheek. We never hear from her again. She goes back to Moab. But Ruth looks at her and says, wherever you go, I'll go. Wherever you lay, I'll lay. Your God's going to be my God. I'm going to get some of that bread in Bethel. When they get back to Bethel, Ruth finds herself in the field of Boaz. Boaz notices that damsel, Ask his servant, who's that in my field? The servant says, that's Ruth, the Moabitess. Boaz says, you tell her to glean in my field from now on. Don't go nowhere else. You have her stay here. And by the way, just throw her some of those handfuls of purpose. Let her know she's welcome in my field. Boaz meets a man at the gate, tells that man, if you don't want her, I'll take her. I can redeem her. I have the ability. I have the finances. I love her. I want her. That man takes off his shoe, signifying the deal's done. She's all yours. The next thing we know, we find Ruth at the feet of Boaz, and then she's the bride of the kinsman redeemer. I'm glad that our kinsman redeemer had the ability, had the means, had the blood to redeem us back to himself. And the song title says, when I found him, I found it all. just lost her husband and now she's leaving home she met a man named Boaz in a field outside of town and in that very moment that's where grace was found she found him She looked into his eyes She was broken She was bound Until by Boaz she was found She was just About to fall Until the day That she found as I could be and nowhere to call my home until I met a man named Jesus 
about his glory all around. And in that very moment, that's where grace was found. I found him in my lowest point of time. I found grace when I looked into his eyes. I was broken, I was bound, until by Jesus I was found. I was just about to fall, until the day that I found. thankful for that grace and that mercy. Preacher, we'll do one more song. Turn it over to you. Take a little break. And uh, this song, we don't, we don't sing it a whole lot, but we've been singing it a long, long time. I, I can remember the first time. I, it's probably been 15 years ago, maybe somewhere between 12 and 15 years ago. I got a good, really good memory. It's just short. Um, and we were, we were out in Colorado. It was a Tuesday night. We were doing a revival out there. And I was sitting right across the table after, after church, we were eating supper. I was sitting right across the table from the pastor of the church, Brother Sutton's his name, and he was telling me how that he was on the internet looking for some music to go along with the message he is wanting to preach, and he came across the New Manor Baptist Church Youth Choir over in Marion. Uh, Brother Tony Shirley's the pastor. That youth choir was singing this song, He Knows My Name. And that pastor said, I sit there and watch that youth choir sing that song on my computer screen. He said, I cried like a baby all the way through it, thinking about the great God of heaven that stepped out on nothing, spoke everything into existence. And he says, this same great God takes time to know me. And he knows me by my name. He said, it wasn't too long after. He said, I went to West Coast. He said, I'm out there to preach one of their college chapel services. And... Uh, he said, I'm sitting on the platform with the vice president of the college, and he said, I realized looking at all those students and all those teachers in that auditorium that with the exception of two students who are from my church, he said, nobody else there has a clue who I am. He said, to make matters worse, during the song in the chapel service, the vice president leans over and says, excuse me, sir, what was your name? And he said, I leaned over and told him what my name was and started crying like a baby all over again. And he said, I thought nobody here has a clue who I am, but there's a God in heaven who knows me, and he knows me by my name. That happened on Tuesday night. The family went back upstairs in the auditorium, and we went over the song, and we were going to surprise the pastor with it on Wednesday night. Wednesday afternoon, we're standing in the parking lot of the church. Somebody's doing something to our bus. And while we're standing there, my cell phone rings, and it's one of the staff members from the New Man of Baptist Church. Brother Charlie Garden's his name, and 
I tell Brother Charlie the story that I just shared with you about this pastor. And Brother Charlie says, man, that song just in recent weeks has been a blessing to a lot of people. And he went on to tell me how that some weeks or months before this, he said, we had a missionary to Mexico in our service Sunday night or Wednesday night. I can't remember which one he said. But the missionary sat on the front row and our youth choir was singing that song that this particular night. And he said, right in the middle of the song, the missionary jumps up off the front row and he's a shouting and praising the Lord and having himself a time right there in the service. He said, but before we realized it, the missionary starts a conversation with our youth choir. And the missionary says, young people, that may be just a bunch of words to you. The fact that this God knows us by name, he said, but it's real to me. And for the next few minutes, he testified how that they were a few months before. He said, we were down in Mexico. He said, we're driving back into the city where we're missionaries to. He said, I've got my wife and my two children in the car with me. He said, as we approached the gate of the city where we're missionaries to, I couldn't call the city or the missionary's name. He said, but as we approached the gate, there are two cars ahead of me to go in into the city. And he said, right at the gate, there's a roadblock. We think it's just the authorities checking cars, he said, but as we drove closer, we realized they were men in mass, automatic weapons and assault rifles. He said, we realized the drug cartel was the one stopping cars. He said, I watched as a man in a mask comes to the first car, two cars ahead of us, and he said, they jerked the man out and they beat him to death right there on the side of the road. He said, they go to the second car. They beat that man, jerked the man out, beat him to death. And he said, going through my mind as I'm next. He said, I watched as a man in a mask comes to my car door. And he said, the man reached for the door handle, but he let it go. And he walked on by. He said, we were listening to, he knows my name. And he said, they went to the car after that and the next car and they jerked those men out. He said, they're beating them on the side of the road and we hear sirens coming up behind us, the police. He said, those drug cartel in front of us start shooting their automatic weapons at the police behind us and the police behind us get out and they're shooting at the drug cartel in front of us. He said, bullets are flying all over the place. He said, we sat there, ducked down in the car for a little bit and we thought, we gotta get out of this. He said, they noticed a big ditch on the right-hand side, the passenger side of the road. And he said, we made the decision to open up the, the front door and crawl out on the ground and get over in the ditch just to get out of the gunfight. He said, I guess during all the melee of trying to get out of the car, somebody must have hit repeat on the CD player. He said, for seven hours, we laid in that ditch didn't know how this thing was going to turn out. Didn't even know if we were going to make it out alive. He said, but from our car, we listened to, he knows my name. And he said, young people, I'm standing before you tonight because I can say that I know the great God of heaven. And that's a good thing. He said, but greater than me saying I know him, it's he says he knows me. I don't have a clue what you come through those doors with tonight. What kind of trouble, what kind of heart heartbreak or heartache, what kind of burden or trial or storm you may be in. But I do know we serve a God who says, my sheep hear my voice and they know me and they follow me. And this same God says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Then he says, just cast all you care on me because I care for you. It doesn't matter if you're walking in the valley. He says, I'm the lily of the valley. It doesn't matter if you're hungry. He says, I'm the bread of life. If you're thirsty, he says, I'm the water of life. He said, if you're walking out through a storm, he says, I've already stepped out on the waves and I've said, be not afraid and peace be still. And the waves have laid down. The wind stopped blowing, the lightning stopped flashing. He says, if you're sick, I'm the, I'm the great physician. Whatever it is you need tonight, there's a God in heaven who knows what that is. If you're lost in the building, you don't know our Savior. He says, I've got you covered too. I've come to seek and to save that which was lost. No matter what it is you're going through, child of God, he hadn't put us on the back 40. We're not climbing up the rough side of the mountain. Just as sure as his eyes on the sparrow, he's watching you and me. And I'm glad he knows 
He knows our name. They're going to finish up with this song at this time. He knows my name. Scott, you come on up here and we'll, we'll have a number of, uh, what number are we going to sing? 355. We could have us a couple of ushers to come down here. We'll take up the offering. I've enjoyed the singing thus far. How about you? Them ladies got a sweet sound, boy. Sweet sound. All righty. All right, let's bow our heads to pray. Thank you, our Father, for the good singing we've heard thus far. And the Lord, how it's touched our hearts and ministered 
to our spirits, dear Lord, uh, the good things of God. And we just thank you, Lord, for the ministry of music. And, uh, Lord, what an important place it has in the church today. And, dear Lord, in the furtherance of the gospel. Now, Lord, we pray that you'd give us the opportunity now to give back to that work just a little bit. And we pray that you would just bless the gifts and bless the giver that gives them. And, Lord, I ask your blessings to be upon those who would love to give, but they don't have anything. Bless them, dear Lord. And I just pray that your will be done in the remainder of this service. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's all stand. Number 355, we'll sing all three verses. What a friend we've got in Jesus' name. Maybe seat. I'm thankful we have that friend, that friend that sticketh closer than a brother preacher. Again, thank you so much for letting us come. Brother Sammy, thank you so much for getting lined up for us to be here. We love Brother Sammy, and uh, we sure do appreciate it. I'll go ahead and say something about our CD out there. We got a, a new CD out there on the table that's homeless. You can help provide a good home for it just by going by there. And I used to say pick one up, but Baptist people took that serious, and my kids got real, real hungry, but no. I'm just, if you'd go by there and, and purchase one, we sure would appreciate that. Anything that you purchase off the table, it just helps us get to place, from place to place. And uh, you pray for us. Tomorrow we're flying, we flew to Dallas last week to do a camp meeting, and we're flying to Little Rock, Arkansas tomorrow to, to do a camp, a youth camp. So you pray for us. Uh, that the Lord would use us, and uh, we want to we want to see people saved.
saved. That's what we want to do. I want the girls, we'll do uh, three or four more songs, uh, if that's all right with you all. We'll do, uh, let's start off with you're the best thing. I'm thankful for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the best thing, the best person that's ever come into my life. And I'm, he didn't force himself on me. He was a gentleman, but I'm thankful that I realized I needed him. If I was going to make it to heaven, I had to go through the door, the Lord Jesus Christ. And you listen to this song. Lord, you're the best thing. precious sign Lord you're the best thing that's ever happened to me for every time I have failed each time I've stumbled sin prevailed you pick me up and place my feet on solid I just don't know, but I'll keep singing as I go, cause you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Becky to do another new song that we're working on. She's going to put it on a recording. 
The Bible says, Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible says, where sin abound, grace does much more abound. Without grace, we'd be nothing. I'm thankful that God gave us grace and we could be saved. As a 12-year-old boy, I knelt down, I've already said, and there was sufficient saving grace when I knelt down and asked the Lord to come into my heart and save me at 12 years old. His grace was sufficient then to save me. If the Lord doesn't come back in the next little while and it comes my time to leave this life through the avenue of death, at that moment in my life, there'll be sufficient dying grace. But between the saving grace and the dying grace, there is sufficient living grace. There's grace for every need. He told Paul, my grace is sufficient for thee. No matter what it is, his grace will be sufficient. The first verse of this song says, because of grace, I came to know because of sin where I would go. The second verse says, through grace, God gave his son to shed his blood and die on a cross for the sins and the wrong that I'd done. But then the last verse hits us all right between the eyes. It says, when those things in life, the storms, the heartaches, the trials, the troubles, when they come our way, we think they're unfair. We, can't, we feel like we can't go another step. This song says, because of grace, I can go another mile. I can take another step for the cause of Christ. And the sun's going to shine again because of grace.
just fade away when troubles mount and dark clouds surround me because of grace they just fade The storm just won't break. Is there a mountain in front of you? You doubt it will ever move. You wonder, will God make a way? Well, tell me a time he's not been faithful. Tell me a morning his mercies were new. Tell me a moment he wasn't able carry you through tell me a day he was less than almighty when he could not roll back the tide child when you look back you're gonna find there was never a time be strong in the word and of your faith and stand firm you can be confident the Lord keeps his promises but for now just cling to his word and tell me a time he's not been faithful tell me a morning his mercies were new tell me a moment he wasn't able to carry you through. Tell me a day he was less than almighty when he could not roll back the tide. Child, when you look back, you're going to find there was never a time. He can work miracles to the if you don't believe it, just go on and try. And tell me a time he's not been faithful. Tell me a morning his mercies were new. Tell me a moment he wasn't able to carry you through. Tell me a day he was less than Almighty, when he could not roll back the tide, child, when you look back, you're gonna find there was never a day he was less than Almighty, when he could not roll back the tide, child, when you look back, you're gonna find there was never a time. Child, when you look back, you're going to find there was never a time. We'll do one more song, and uh, Preacher, we'll have an invitation after this if you want to come, and we'll sing a song, whatever you want to do. Um, Morgan wrote a song during the pandemic. Uh, I'd, I'd hear a tune coming from the little keyboard she has up in her room that I never heard before. And while I was out and about one day, she came down and she sang a brand new song that she just wrote to her mama. And then when I got home, she sang it to me and she said, Daddy, I named the song, I'm Amazed by Grace. I don't ever want to get over how amazing God's grace is. 
I don't ever want to get used to how amazing God's grace is. That grace that's brought me safe thus far and the grace that's going to lead me home. I'm thankful. If you've gotten used to it as a child of God or if you've gotten somewhat over it as a child of God, the advice I have for you sitting in this church tonight is here's an altar right here. God wants to rekindle the fire in your heart and in your life. In these last of the last days, we need some Christians that can be the salt and be the light in this lost and dying world. And if you're lost in the building tonight and you've never one time experienced the grace of God, you don't know God's grace and the free pardon of sin, let me give you the same advice. Here's an altar right here. Somebody will take the word of God Show you how that you can know that you know that you know. If you have to leave this life, heaven will be your home. It's not a hope so. It's not a think so. It's a no so. Salvation. And I'm thankful for that. We'll finish up with this song. We named our new CD after it. I'm amazed by grace. valley may seem rough and I just can't feel the touch of his hand I think about where he brought me from and where I could have been if he hadn't saved me from all my sin within I'm amazed took my place even though I don't understand his plan or his pace I'm amazed by amazing grace I don't deserve anything that he blessed me with but his love for me he makes so definite yes he took me by my hand and he saved me from my darkest place I'm amazed by amazing grace I'm amazed Thank you for offering to stay up here.